goes all the way back to the offseason when Debo Samuel referred to the cornerback James Bradbury the Eagles as trash. On Wednesday in the first full team meeting, Nick Sirianni gathered his team and showed them clips of that trash talk. Take it personally, use it as motivation the right way. Take a look at these pictures before the game. That single green jersey surrounded by white, that's James Bradbury. As you can imagine, plenty being exchanged. Not pleasantry, guys. Can't wait. Let's go. Second down, quick throw to your side. Smith again as another first down inside the 25. And Greenlaw slams him down. That's going to be 15 more. And now tempers flare. Now watch Dre Greenlaw. He clearly picks up and suplexes Smith out of bounds. That's a penalty. And Dom... Big Dom right there Big in the Dom. middle of I feel it. like we've read a lot about Big Dom, the security here for Philadelphia. And Listen, he picks restaurants and he protects his players. Yeah, watch Drake Greenlaw, though. He kind of puts his hands in, in his face. Greenlaw reached out toward Dom, who provides security and so much else. He's returning to the Eagles. Over. Personal foul, number 57 of San Francisco, who has also been disqualified. Well, Dean told wow. you they could do that after looking at it, and he has been thrown out. That's enormous. Dom is going to continue to just raise the ladder of local heroes here in Philadelphia. <laughs> there might be a statue of them if the Eagles win this game. Are they telling him now he might have to leave the sidelines? I, I wonder if they're going to make him and Drake Greenlaw I, both I, leave the sidelines. Which is kind of wild because he's the head of security. So yeah, no, they're making him leave. He's, he's walking away. I'm telling you, he, he's he's the most popular guy in Philadelphia right now. Look, he's getting a standing go. <laughs> this is unbelievable. We know there was bad blood during, after, and then before this one. You see James Bradbury right in the middle of the Niners kind of walking right through. Nick Sirianni took some umbrage with that one, didn't love it. Probably shove again. Hurts is in. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Well, on first down, they needed two yards. Oh, oh we, got another, on. we got some more action here. I got a feeling we're going to see this the rest of the game. A.J. Brown's fired up. Watch the push. Watch how far into the end zone Jalen Hurts doesn't even end up on the ground. And he's three, four yards deep in the end zone. Seen a lot of that play. I don't think I've ever seen Jalen Hurts walk in and step over people like that. It's incredible. Man, that, a lot happened on that drive. All week long, Nick Sirianni talked to his team about controlling their emotions. Here you see him talking to Jalen Carter, defensive tackle. This is just after he drew the personal foul penalty in the point after try. You see, taking a swing there at Pryor, not once but twice. Again, Sirianni acknowledged the trash talk between the two, but said it can only be used as motivation if you control your emotions. Smith. Fires over the middle. Great grab by Metcalf out in front, and he will go all the way for a touchdown. 73 yards. He's saying in sign language, standing on business. That's slang for taking care of your responsibilities. Caught. Escaping Ferguson. On a Second and 13, first down. Then he gets shoved at the end of the play. Now it gets very chippy. No flags yet. All right, it's two Warriors right there. Jake Ferguson's not going to back down from Jamal Adams. <laughs> yep, he and Adams face to face. Cameron Young was involved in some action here. At the end, yeah, there he is. Prescott himself close to a first down. Woolen makes the tackle. A little join goes on here. And it gets a little chippy there with Woolen and Dak Prescott giving him a little flex. <laughs> Personal foul with disqualification. Offense number 10. That 15 yard penalty will be enforced. It will be first and 10, Kansas City, from the 50 yard line. Number 10 is disqualified. Good job by our guys of picking it up here. He and Nixon fighting. 
getting up. And you see that punch there. Personal foul, number zero, Carolina. Number zero has been disqualified. Oh, wow. He threw a punch. Right here, right, right at the oh. top. He just hits him in the head. And I mean, that's that's easy. You're, you're kicked out. I love Cody Mach's point there. He, he pulls the flag out of his pocket like he's going to throw it. From the gun. Flags down. And the play whistle dead, and Stroud getting into it with Alex Singleton. His teammates coming over to protect him. And Stroud was not backing down, nor was Singleton. When the whistle was blown, you need to put your hands on me. And if this is on Singleton, guess what? Houston's going to come out of it well. That's all he's saying. You didn't need to put your hands on me and push me. Whistle was blowing, and C.J. Stroud bowed up and let him know. And look at the teammates, as you noted, Ian. How they feel about C.J. Stroud, you don't touch our quarterback. Personal foul, defense, number 49. That 15-yard penalty is half the distance, automatic, first down. Well, that's a crusher for Denver because that supersedes the initial false start. And how often do we have flags that conflict with each other that one is disregarded and the other counts? So look at this. This penalty now puts them in a position to think about touchdown. Looked right, looked left, throws left, pass is caught. And then going backward is Tyler Boyd, who has his helmet ripped off in a gain of two. And a flag comes down on the near side. Personal foul. Me too. First mask on the defense number 95. Robertson Harris from the back of the helmet rips it right off. Same thing as grabbing that face mask. It's the correct call for grabbing the opening or the back of the helmet and ripping it off. Older players for these guys so they understand who they are and who he's they can go, be. He's got to go Google him now. No, maybe. That'll be the end of the first quarter. Carlton Davis with a big tackle and an extra push at the end and a flag comes in. Just uh, took a there swing. There was a couple punches thrown yeah. there. A personal foul. Defense number 24. Half the distance to the goal, automatic. First down. Well, that's just a dumb play. It's not smart. You made a really good play. You came up. You got a nice stop. The pitch out to Najee Harris. Looking for a block in there. And again, kind of doing it on his own. Although he did get a nice block from his center, Mason Cole, leading the way. And we got some shoving after the play. Frustrated Harris. In there is Clark. That's Higby in motion. They went to him on the last third down. They'll go that direction again. Higby wide open. Up the sideline. And Higby out of bounds near the 25. Thornhill finally caught him. But 21 yards later. Big personnel. And a flag flies. Flag down on the near sideline. Full start. Offense on the 75. Moving the ball forward. He's the left guard. Can't be on him. He didn't have the ball to move yeah, it. Yeah, I think it's on the center. It's on Posick. Because he's moving that ball backwards inside, see? He said moving the ball forward. Well, Batonio didn't have the ball to move. Yeah. And that's what Kevin Stefanski is saying. What are you talking about? He didn't have the ball. <laughs> Stefanski's not happy. Aiden Hutchinson's on the sideline. It's happening at Hutchinson list defense. Carr in trouble. And even with Hutchinson not in there, they get home. It's Romeo Oguara with the sack. And then the teams come together, some pushing and shoving after the play. Patriots haven't lost five straight after all the way back to 1995. As they somehow try to get some points and get a win. And as Ezekiel Elliott taking the reins from Ramon J. Stevenson. Early in the game, Stevenson leaving with an ankle injury as we get some extra pushing and shoving after the final whistle. James Dykin told us this Pirano hire was one of his most important of the offseason. Kayvon Wallace with the big hit, and it's third down. Unsportsmanlike conduct, defense, number 35, Tonti. And he went right over toward the Indianapolis sideline, pointed his finger, and that's going to bring the flag every time. We're still tied, 13 seconds left. Minshew's pass deflected, and nearly picked. Danico Autry nearly made an incredible play. 
Watch this as this ball gets tipped. He grabs the Nico and pulls him down. Just to, enough. Just to prevent Game him from intercepting play. that play. Ritter rolling to his right. Throws and Oh, London took a hard hit and a flag is thrown. DJ Reed making contact. Ritter didn't like it. But DJ Reed tried to go in with his shoulder. The only problem is that Drake London was defenseless and that he aimed at the head and shoulder area. That's why they called the personal foul. In for the Falcons from the 24-yard line. The handoff to Cordero Patterson. Gain of two down to the Jets 22-yard line. And now some extracurricular activity. Like C.J. Mosley and Michael Pruitt were getting involved. They've been getting to the second level, and there's C.J. Mosley and still holding on. Oh, C.J. He's trying to get he's trying to get the flag. That's what he's doing. He's just holding on. As well rounded a tight end as we have in the league. Okay, he runs into Fletcher Cox. No gain there. This. This play call by Kyle Shanahan. Look at the official. <laughs> He's like, hey, man, you ain't, ain't going to fool me. From the 30, Kelsey blocks and releases. Mahomes escapes, takes off, getting to the sideline. Big hit at the line, inbounds at the 40. Jonathan Owens and a flag is thrown. Let's see. Yep. Down the line that saw this. He's in bounds. They always try to protect the quarterbacks here. After the play was over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, deep, number 34. And he is in serious pain. Fumble was recovered by Anton Harrison, and Lawrence can't get off the field. I don't. I, don't, I still didn't get a good look at what happened. Well, when the, the leg, let's take a look oh. right there.